Okay, so how's it going guys? This is Rio Murata Photographer based in Tokyo. So one one shot is actually one of the, the camera shots that I really wanted to cover for you guys because this channel is meant for film camera enthusiasts. And if you guys know, before going into deep, I should actually give you guys the context, the background information, and the historical background of La Moncha because a lot of people who are 99% foreigners don't know much about this company. La Moncha is actually a film slash digital type of camera company that they sell used. And they are actually located throughout Tokyo and they have various shops along the way. And their parent company is actually called Naniwa Group. And they originally were sort of like specializing in the Kansai region, the so Osaka type of area. They started their business a long time back, like 50 years ago. And along the way, they sort of like incorporated Lemon Shot as their sort of like business portfolio. And now they have footprint within Tokyo, Japan actually. And as their sort of like business expanded and as time rolled off, so to give you guys the context, 2005, Lemusha opened their Ginza church store. However, it's important to understand that they actually relocated to the current location and reopened to the location we see as of 2023, which not many people understand. I did not know about this until I was contact contacted by the representatives and my mind went blank because I thought that was actually the first shop but it wasn't the Ginza shop they actually relocated to the location that we see right now all foreigners know it is famous for providing exquisite and expensive cameras such as Leica's and many many valuable film cameras back in 2011 they opened up their first shop in Shinjuku followed by 2013 they opened the Ginza Studio 728. There was actually a shop in Nihonbashi, however that one is closed, so beware about that. And back in 2015, they opened Akihabara, 2019, Yokohama, same time, 2019, they opened up Ikebukuro, followed by 2021, they actually did a full-out floor renewal of the Shinjuku shop, and, and last year actually, in 2023, they actually opened a new shop in downtown Shibuya, roughly 10 minutes away from the station, in a department store called Modi, located on the B1F basement floor one, back in September, three, four months ago. So this time around, interesting to know, I was able to get a full-on permission to shoot video within the Lemonsha shop in downtown Shinjuku and roughly speaking it's like 10 minute walk away from Shinjuku Nishiguchi station so that's like east exit and from there on it's actually a little bit hard to find so I'll stick in some kind of hyperlapse for you guys but the Shinjuku shop is located on the third floor of this building and once you go up either I would highly suggest using the elevator <laughs> the stairs is actually really daunting so use the like elevators you can basically reach Lamonsha Shinjuku shop and the main reason why I wanted to cover Lamonsha personally is that they have the most extensive amount of film cameras available actually like throughout the Japan and because their parent company is the Naniwa group which is focused on the Kansai region. They basically cover the west side of Japan and also Lemonsha covers the east side of Japan. So you get this whole library of collections of film cameras. The main reason why I really wanted to cover them is that they have one of the most extensive amount of film cameras available because the Naniwa group covers mostly the west side of Japan, the Kansai region, and Lemonsha covers the east side. So they basically cover throughout Japan. And the amount of film cameras is almost like king of the hills and they do not have like any rivals that have this might amount of cameras specifically the medium format types of cameras they have like so much on their arsenal that if you have problems finding it here you will have more problems finding it elsewhere okay so fyi for your information really important to, for people who are actually thinking of purchasing a camera at la Moncha. Uh, the parent company, which is the Naniwa Group, actually, they have this online shopping center slash website called the Naniwa Online Camera Store. And this is sort of like the library, the whole gigantic library that the parent company and also Lemosha has. They basically share the whole stock of film cameras that are listed on this website. And this is something interesting I found out, which is that on their online forums, you can basically shoot and direct email to them 
indicating like which specific camera you want to check or purchase. And upon arrival in Japan or in Tokyo, you can basically have that camera sent to that specific camera shop. So let's say you can have a Pentax 6-7 being shipped from Akihabara shop to、uh, the Shinjuku shop. And upon arrival, you can basically check that camera before we're doing that you know, final decision of purchasing that camera. And I thought this was actually quite neat. And no one actually mentioned about this until I talked with the managers that they have this system going on. So it doesn't have to be the Shinjuku shop. It could be the Akihabara shop. It could be the one in Nihonbashi or anywhere as long as they can basically get that Specific camera within the area of Tokyo, so quite neat to see. Okay, so within the Shinjuku shop on the left side, there's basically this sort of like historical background, sort of like his sort of like panel where it basically says how Lemon Shop started as a business and how they sort of expanded along the way with the specific dates and also the dates of specific shops being open. On the right side, they have this sort of like shelf. On a window glass panel where they sort of like <clears throat> exhibit the film stocks that you can basically purchase. They have color negatives, 120 medium format films, and also black and white. And I wish I had that shelf, but unfortunately, I do not have space in my room to make something similar to that. But it is actually a marvel to see cleanly stacked film stocks against a window pane. And also on the opposite side of the film stocks area, there's actually a Sort of like a specific area for the junk section. So, if you're someone who likes to fix cameras and stuff like that, you can basically purchase these types of sort of like cameras that are broken, but some people, the majority of people, basically buy them for the parts and they can basically back home fix that camera that they have by sort of like removing the specific parts from the junk camera to their cameras that they own. And there's a lot of things they can do with it, which is quite neat. Okay, so there is actually a designated area for digital related equipment s such as mirrorless cameras, DSLRs,、uh, peripherals, accessories such as gimbals and mics and stuff like that. If you're、so、like a person like me who likes to make contents online, there is a dedicated location for that. And obviously, the main topic of what I want to talk about is the film camera section, and they do have extensive range of products being. Available within their shops, they do have point and shoots both digital and film. They do have a section for SLRs and they do also have a section dedicated for medium format, which they have by far the most white call stocks available, especially on their online website. And this is also something I need to mention for my viewers. Lemon Shah's like, shops in general have this similar sort of like what I call layout that they have a used section, they have a junk section, they have a film area, and they have also like what you call like areas where they sell bags and also tripods, used tripods. And if something happens on your trip to Tokyo, let's say your tripod breaks down, or if your bag, I don't know, the shoulder strap breaks down, you can actually purchase a bag used here. And it's like、uh, sort of like a salvation for a lot of photographers. If something happens, you can pick up a sort of like a used tripod for an affordable price. And also, I have to mention, I'm going a little bit off topic, but they were selling a Husky tripod. If you actually worked at an advertising agency in Japan, even now, today's a lot of people still use Husky tripods. They were formerly made in North America in the United States, but right now it's being managed by a Japanese company. I'm going a little bit off topic. But majority of photographers use Husky tripods. I remember like carrying that. But it was like quite neat seeing that for you guys. that I have to share my dedication and of thanking the store manager for giving me the permission to shoot video there because it's a really hectic job to sort of get in that permission. But I am thankful for the manager for giving me that, you know, permission to just shoot video and to share my knowledge with you guys because a lot of people. Are interested in purchasing a camera in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm guessing that if you're ever coming into Tokyo, Japan, if you're a camera enthusiast, you're 100% gonna visit Shinjuku. I know about it. <laughs> All my friends wanted to go there. And also, probably I'm guessing that if it's also your first time in Tokyo, you're, you will be highly likely to be in Shibuya area. And great news to you guys, I mentioned in the first part of the video that Lemosha actually has a shop in 
Modi department store, which is roughly a 10 minute walk away from the Hachiko exit in Shibuya. So if you're ever in Tokyo, if you need like film stocks, if you need a film camera, or if you want a Leica or something like that, there is actually a location to purchase cameras in the Shibuya area. And obviously like this is going a little bit off topic, but I wasn't able to shoot a portion of a video on this because there was a person there actually doing some kind of sort of like meeting. But on the side of the Shinjuku shop, what I call the camera section, there is an area of a gallery actually. And I was talking with a the manager there and she said that if you're actually new to like presenting your works at this particular what I call gallery in La Monsha, they do have this sort of like beginners, what I call a testing period kind of thing, campaign going on where you can basically hang up your work for free actually, for two weeks actually at most. And that kind of sparked my curiosity. I really want to do that but I need to print my work first to, for that to happen. So I was, I am actually keen on doing that sometime, maybe next year, hopefully, when I get my sort of like series going up and running. So that was actually basically sort of my coverage of La Monsha in the Shinjuku shop and also covering the sort of like rich historical like backgrounds for you all because no one talks about La Monsha. So hopefully I made some kind of effort into this video and hopefully I can make, I made some kind of progress and some kind of like educational sort of like lecture of La Monsha. And yeah, that's basically it on my coverage. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video, found it informing. If you have any questions regarding this video or La Monsha, I'm happy to reply. I have connections with their manager there. She is like really nice. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out.